Howdy doody, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, or thank you for staying in with us on Adobe Live. Welcome back to another daily creative challenge inside of Adobe XD. Welcome back. My name is Brandon Gross. I will be your host for today and rather up until August 20th. If you guys are new to the XD Daily Creative Challenge, let's talk about what it is and let's dive into the challenge that we have for today. By the way, excellent job for those of you guys submitted some cool stuff in our Discord. By the way, hello to, we have Umicorn, Sam, Annie, Fergie, Miss Annika, who did deliciously in the last Adobe Live segment. Congra <laughs> claps up to her in the chat. Ex What's going on, Trey? How you doing? Mezzi, you glad to have you back. All right, guys, let's talk about what we have for today, this challenge, and let's talk. So if you guys are new to the XD Create, <laughs> excuse me, XD Daily Creative Challenge, Links are down in the description, whether you're on YouTube or Behance. By the way, if you're on YouTube and you want to have a conversation, let's jump over to Behance and let's talk. But make sure you register and join our community. It's the big blue button. Just hit it. It'll bring you to our Discord and tell you everything else you need to know, as well as how to join us, four-step process. But today, we are going to get into some photo carousel magic here, and we're going to design and prototype a photo carousel with hover triggers. So. With that being said, by the way, um, let's talk about our Discord really quick. By the way, I've said that five times, I don't know why. But it's just because you guys have submitted some really cool stuff, all right? I can't find a bigger word, all right? Help me with my vocabulary. So you guys have submitted some really cool things from yesterday's challenge. Shout out to all of you guys. We'll go over a little bit of what they are towards the end of today's session. But for the challenges, Everybody's submission should be in the feedback section within the challenge section. Just drop it in there. But we have our amazing mentors here to give feedback on your work, our Adobe fam, as well as other community members that we so love. All right, but let's get into what we have for today. And uh, let me showcase something to you guys really quick. So this is what we're gonna try to build out today. And let me go, let me start at the beginning. So we have this little, photo carousel, we have a nice little sliding animation, and then we have some little, some little hover that you guys can, you guys can decide <laughs> what you want to do on the hover, but uh, this is kind of what we're going to recreate today, um, just this little zoom in piece here. You guys can take it up three notches like you guys did with the last two submissions. So let's start from scratch. So when you guys download your starter file, you guys will see something pretty much like this. You guys will have all of your, essentially where all the photo, photos should go, they'll be blank. And uh, we're just going to show you how to essentially just put these photos in here, <laughs> in the blocks, and how to get the animation going and we can decide if we have more time, what we wanna do from there. Sound good? All right, Trey says he's still working on the deliverables from the past two days. I will get those posted when I finish them. Well, we're looking forward to my friend. By the way, let us know in the chat how many of you are brand new to XD. It will uh, help me guide you guys in this tutorial today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start moving some of our assets from, really these are our photos, from uh, <laughs> a whole bunch of people. Uh, I would totally name them, but that would definitely take like five minutes of the, the stream. So I'm gonna just start taking these photos. I'm gonna just hit uh, click them, control C, copy them, and I'm gonna paste them into these uh, rectangles. Control Alt V. So that will just take a couple seconds. And I'm gonna kind of do, I'm gonna try to keep all the colors kind of the same. Copy, paste, and take this one, copy, paste. Now, <clears throat> when we get to certain sections, like for example, let's say, I think I grouped all of this together just for, that's why, okay. So what I'm gonna do very quickly is I'm gonna move this up because I wanna see some of these sections. So I wanna make this, let's say I wanna make this photo a little bit more blue. And first off what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uncomponentize all of this stuff. Unlink component. I kind of made it a little bit complicated for you guys. You guys can keep it, it'll actually help you do what we're doing today a little bit quicker, but I'm gonna kind of do everything from uh, scratch today. 
unlink component dun dun. and I just want our photos here Okay, and one more. Let's go pull this out. All right, okay. I just wanted to clear some things up for myself. All right, so I wanna actually make this a little bit more bluish. I could right click on this, open it Photoshop. It said edit it in Photoshop, just in case if you guys didn't see that. <laughs> Thank you for the compliment. Um, and to go very stylish office. Indeed, we try to keep it 100. All right, so we're waiting here for Photoshop to open up. All right, here we go. And I can actually edit how I want this. For example, I can go into, I'm not, I'm not like a super master at Photoshop, especially with, it takes me more time to get where most people do. Okay, so let me, I'm gonna just make this a little bit more blue-ish. The pink, eh, you know, that's fine. I'm just gonna go ahead and save this and the changes will appear in XD. Just wanted to show you guys that. And I can do that for any photos that I want. So I'm just gonna bring this back to where it was. All right, and I'm gonna just get started on my next row. So I'm gonna get my warmer pieces here. Just copy, paste, copy. And how I'm pasting is I'm doing Control-Alt-V. For those of you on Mac, you will be doing Control Alt V when you are um, pasting photos within the rectangle shapes. Because if I just do copy and paste, this is what will happen. It will just be in the center. We want to paste it inside of the rectangles of our, cho our choosing. So I'm going to select this piece. Actually, we already have some of those. Let me do, we had these two. Let me just move some of these, the ones that we've already used. I think we did this one, and I think we did this one. All right, so I'm gonna take, wait. <laughs> this is, okay. Waterfall, tower of something, and then we did not use the castle. All right, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna take the castle here. We're gonna do that instead of this here. Cause I think this is a little bit more, this is a little bit more warm. So we're gonna do that in like our, our warm column. So I'm selecting my color here or my square here, pasting, and I need one more and I think it'll be our tree. I know it's not warm, but we'll keep it. And we're gonna take our, which one should we use? We'll take the rock one. Or oh, we're gonna use both of them anyway. And we'll take this one. All right, so we have our photos in place. Now let's start getting into how this should animate. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna duplicate this entire artboard. As Fergie in the chat is like, Brandon is still not naming his layers. Listen, we have this planned out, we can do this. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is we wanna get that first animation that we saw in this prototype. Where we have everything here, after two seconds, after I'm not hovering on things, Where's the two seconds? I think it I think it killed it because I accidentally hovered. Alright, come on now. We, we literally saw this happen as soon as we opened the prototype. I wonder why it's not working now. Okay, I think every time that I hover over something, it stops like the the animation. Okay. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to get that nice uh, movement that uh, par I'm not even sure if we can call that parallax, but like a parallel animation, and then we can start working on our uh, hover stuff. So let's start on that. We're gonna go back to, doo -doo -doo, not this one, this one. So what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna set up a timed animation. We're just gonna select artboard number one, and we are going to drag this over to artboard number two. Our trigger is going to be time. We want auto animate and we're gonna do snap on this one, okay? This is gonna be our chance to use our favorite easing option. All right, so now all I'm gonna do is anytime we're animating, 
We want before and kind of after sort of states. That's how we want to think about it. So we are going to start here in our carousel. And all we want to do after or during our animation, we want, let's say, the animation to go from here to move here. Oh, I missed the picture. To move like this. This is where we want it to end up. And we want our images here to end up down this way. And I wonder what we could do for this. I'm trying to think. Hmm. Oh, that's what we're doing. We're just gonna move it up. To reveal our things. Okay, so this is pretty simple. So what we have here is this. Okay, why did it just, I want this one. Oh, you know what? I, I, we didn't put a delay on it, ladies and gentlemen. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a two second or 1.5 second delay. That is exactly why our prototype was just like, you didn't see me animate, but <laughs> we wanted to see the animation. All right, that was too fast. So we're gonna increase the duration here. And this is all play, guys. We wanna see back and forth, back and forth. Okay, we made a change. What does it look like with that change? All right, that's a little smoother. <laughs> okay. But see, look, we have a, Fergie, we have a delicious animation and maybe like, what, let me check the time. What is it? In 10 minutes, no, no layers named. And look at that, beautiful, delicious. Maybe if you are on my team, obviously we would, we would, we would animate that. But we, look at that, no layers, layers named. All right. So now what we're going to do is we are going to duplicate this one more. Actually, I don't think we need to duplicate it. And I think this is actually why I made my components in the beginning. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna we're gonna have to to think through this because how I did this, how I was planning this, and because I've only had one coffee today, um, this is what happened. So what? And actually, this is not going to be that big of a change. So what we need to do is we're gonna very quickly make our components, which are these puppies. We have a photo, and there's more than one way of doing this, but this is one way. How I have it in this prototype is I have a component where there's two images, one on top of the other, and on hover, the hover state, the top image just squeezes in a little bit. We could do that here with this and just rather than, uh, excuse me, rather than hover, <laughs> it's so interesting, weird, like figuring out which artboard is which. Um, okay, it's this one. Gotta look at the names, guys. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I have my one photo here. I'm gonna copy, paste, I have two, and I'm gonna make a component out of this. I'm gonna select both, Command K or Control K. I'm gonna click here in my main components, add state, I'm gonna do hover. And what we're gonna do, this is our default state. When we hover, we wanna make sure, I'm gonna double click into our component here, and I'll name these. <laughs> we're gonna have top, we're gonna have bottom. All right, so we're gonna take the top photo here. We're gonna pull this in, just like this. And here we go. So we have our default state where it looks normal, our hover state where it looks that little scrunch. So now what we're gonna do here is I'm going to see if this works. This is gonna be first time. We're gonna learn, we're gonna learn today. All right, I'm gonna take this component. I'm gonna see if this works still with this Control-Alt-V. So I have this rectangle selected, Control-Alt-V. It does not work. All right, that's fine. We're just gonna put this in place of right on top. And we are going to take, we're just gonna delete this rectangle 37. And we are going to make sure that this is inside of our group. And we are gonna do the same thing here. We're just gonna replace this photo. So I'm gonna come over here, place, put this right on top of where our photo is. I'm gonna do this a couple times with some of our photos because we have more than one hover. This is just how to make it once. Lisa is asking, can you export your XD files to Photoshop? Yes, we can. So what I, let me do this really quick because I will forget entirely where I am in the process. <laughs> so, all right, we have our component here. I'm just gonna, whoops. 
going to cut this very quickly. This is rectangle 37. Okay. This is making sure that this is the right names to component 50, 5, 2, 5, 1. All right. Got to change this name real quick. All right. Okay. Let me get to your question. So if we have any photo, right, it can be any one of these three. And I already have Photoshop open, so it's a little bit quicker. Anything in XD, whether it is an asset, a photo, what have you, um, I can export these. All I have to do is right click my asset, edit to Photoshop, and I can do whatever I want. I can save it, and it pops up on the asset inside of XD. So you can do that in any way that you desire, essentially. If you can think it, you can do it, especially when it comes to the workflows between XD and Photoshop when it comes to assets. All right, so let's take a look at this. We're gonna go and press prototype. All right, we need to make sure that we delete the, I think it's this one. We don't need this photo behind. That's why it looked a little funky when we pressed play. So let's take a look at what we have. Boom. All right, now when we hover, all right, so we have a little, this looks a little funky here. It's not a smooth animation, it's just like, okay? And typically that is, oh, you know why? It's because we did not, we're gonna go to my prototype mode here for a second. And we are going to, we never uh, set how exactly um, we want this component to actually animate. So we're gonna do, it's a hover state, yes. We want to do a snap animation, and we're gonna we're gonna do give or take. We're gonna see what 0.4 seconds of a duration of a animation kind of looks like, and that should, interestingly, let's see. I guess we have to do the same thing here. I'm curious why it didn't translate, because we're talking components, guys, and I don't know why that didn't. Uh, but we'll see. We'll figure it out. It's all a learning thing. <laughs> it's all a learning process. All right, boom, we got our animation. And that's still looking funky to me. I wonder. I wonder if it is a layer thing. Maybe Fergie has something. Maybe, Fer <laughs> Maybe Fergie has hacked the system. All right, no, we still have rectangle 51, rectangle 37, 37, 51, 37, 37. I wonder. Let's, see. Let's check the group names. No, nope, group names looking good. Let's try something. Let's duplicate, let's make a new artboard. We do live and learn. We have about two minutes here. I wanna kind of figure out why our component here is not hovering or giving us the hover animation that we want. So snap point four, da -da -da. Okay, let's, try, let's just do the prototype here, see what happens. Bonky! Oh, you know what? Hold up. Trigger, hover, yes. Auto animate. But why, my good sir? I wonder if it's because of this. Let me, I bet this is what it is. Watch. Big brained. Okay, <laughs> not at all. Well, if anybody knows in the chat, Gara says she's Agent Smith, so, somewhere around there. If anybody knows why this is not, like, Let's, let's cheat real quick, because this, let's see what we have here. Yeah, this is, we did the same thing. Default, hover state, hover, auto animate. We did the ease out, three seconds. Try ease in, all right, we'll, we'll see what happens. All right, Mezzi, we're, 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 we're banking on what you got. All right, let's try, let's try the eases. Close. I really wonder why it's making, it's doing that. Uh, I've not had that happen before. Anyways, guys, it works. I don't know why it's not working here, but previously in the other option here, you can see that this works. Um, but I don't know what it is. All right, but let's let's do this because we're short on time. We have about five minutes here. I do very quickly want to give some love to those who have submitted their work for yesterday's challenges are absolutely fire. 
Um, and then if we have time, we'll go back and try to do that, uh, that hover, um, try to see what's going on with the hover. All right, so let's see. There was a couple in here that I absolutely loved. Let me see. By the way, good job just to absolutely everyone who submitted some things, but there were some honorable mentions up in here, especially for some of the people who are new to XD. That was pretty smooth. And I think they even did some things to the SVGs. That was very nice. Just claps for, let's see. The name, it's Haley. Excellent job, Haley. Let's see. Let's replay this. That was smooth. I love that, and I love that how they took those the the icons, did a little bit more, actually changed their rotation while they animated in and animated out. Excellent job. And let's see. I think there was like one other that was like pretty fire. They're all really good, but I was just like the ones that took the extra time to do some things. Let's see. I love how you guys really did, you guys went above what I gave you, so I love it. And then, wait, there was one more. Well, I really don't have enough time to go through all these. They were all really excellent, and they all had small nuanced things that I was just like, that's fire. So good job, you guys. And if you guys are wondering how to submit your work on Behance, very simple. Once you export your stuff through XD, which I will show you guys in a second, all you have to do is select your artboards if you want to have those things exported. Select them, hit Control E, and export them as PNGs, JPEGs, what have you. PDF if you want, just want something for yourself, but you just export them and you pop them into our lovely Behance or our Discord channel. And uh, if you're going to put this in a Behance project, do not forget to add in your project tags XD Daily Challenge. So, with that being said, I think that is it, ladies and gentlemen. We have about three minutes. So, <laughs> with those three minutes, we're gonna try to figure this out. All right, so let's do this. I very quickly, and I think we got time for this. I want to, I wanna do this, okay? So we're gonna have two squares. One is red, other one is purple. All right, I'm gonna scale this back up, select these both, Control K. We have our default state, we're gonna do a hover state. Hover state should squeeze. All right, so we have our two hover state, or our default and hover state. Okay. I'm gonna bring this into a artboard very quickly. Just trying to mimic this. Let's press play. See, there we go, smooth. I don't know what was going on with the, uh, with the art, or uh, with the photo, where it was just like <laughs> <laughs> and doing what, what have you. So, all right, just a proof that, you know, not every time things go to plan, you know, there might be something on my end where, you know, something happened with the, uh, there's probably something I need to tweak and that I'm not overlooking. But I just showed you guys very quickly how easy this was with just the shapes. All you need to do then is just add the photos. Let me do a quick time check. We got one minute. So just start out with your rectangles like this. Start here first, then add your images and you'd be good to go. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys are enticed to join day number three's daily creative challenge for XD. And I'm super excited to see you guys tomorrow, same time, same place. So with that said, uh, thank you guys for joining Umicorn, Damaris, Penny, Fergie, Emmanuel. Thank you so much. And with that said, have a good rest of your day. See you tomorrow. Peace.